Hey, many fish. It's the 3rd of April, 2018. And spring has sprung because it's it's gotten kind of busy around here. I really just don't have the time to really dig into some of this stuff. I, I, I still see tons of things, you guys. I mean, it's... <laughs> There's no shortage of things going on. I'm just trying to balance everything, you know. But I just wanted to show you this real quick. I, I haven't dug into this very much, but know that there's something here that needs to be paid attention to. And the first thing is this other Liberty Bell. Did you know that there was another Liberty Bell in Philadelphia? Yes, there is. And it was gifted by the Queen back in 1976 okay so you know I see this and I'm really not thinking a whole heck of a lot about it but I also see at the same time this here today about this bell in Germany that had a swastika on it and these people came and ground it off okay because there's a bunch of you know hoo-ha going on over there and Nazism and anti-Semitism and all that good stuff. So I see these couple of bells and I didn't really think too much about it until I looked at this article here. Okay, you see what I see here? Look at this. Scientists detect fingerprint. Fingerprint of first light ever in the universe. So naturally, you know, I go straight to Genesis because that's where light came from right genesis 1 genesis 1 3 actually i believe yes and god said let there be light and there was light and he divided the light from the darkness the wickedness destruction ignorance and sorrow okay and i'm not going to get into the creation right now but you see the mocking going on here especially when you click their little video because as soon as you start it what do you get? This cute little image here. And what is right inside this nice little round frame for it? A serpent, essentially. There's his eye, his eye, nostril, nostril. And there's his mouth with the smoke coming out of it. He's right there, folks. And there's another one in behind here. The usual stuff. This is just what they love to do. The Fuller Science Institute. And then I see that, right? They, they give us this little snapshot, if I can get this thing to stop. This right here. And what that reminded me of was another article that I saw talking about Space Odyssey 50 years old. Kubrick, you know, the one who uh, led up the faking of the moon landing. He was very, very in intricately tied into that. And so they're mocking God, and it's just ridiculous, you guys, right? And they get into these crazy little statistics, more demons in the smoke in their video, and they get into this little graph here of the Big Bang, right? And they show it again down here. And I notice they have now down here. The first thing, though, is like, wait a minute, hold on a second. That looks like a bell, and it does, and it is, and so I grab the image, and sure enough, you just give it a little flip, it's a bell, all right? And not only is it a bell, it, uh, it, it actually plays a couple other roles, too. It's very, very odd, and I haven't really had time to give you all the details, but I just want to put it out in front of you. They they claim their Big Bang, and they're seeing back to when the light, first light, first stars, cosmic dark ages, okay? The dark, he divided from the light. You understand where I'm coming from? How they're just mocking the living daylights out of us? But it has something to do with these bells. I just, that's how I understand it. That's what I'm getting out of this, you know, so I'm showing it to you. And they have all these 666s, 666s, 666s. I mean, this is just ridiculous, you know. And on top of it all, it's all 9-11. Everything about it's 9-11. You look at their little graph here. 
380,000 years, 180 million, 9, 11, and now, let's not forget now, 13.8. So there's your 13, and there's your 9, 11, all bundled up in one. You know, so I'm just seeing it. There's their little space gizmo that they use. Looks like a bunch of steel mesh, just whatever. But I had to share it with you. And it goes deeper and deeper and deeper. But, you know, the bells. And, and it, when I got the clue about the bells, it's something about the bells. I go back and I look in the Bible. And did you know, I was not aware of this until right now, quite frankly, that the only place in the Bible that has anything to do with bells is in Exodus 28 and it pertains to Aaron and how he must go into the Holy of Holies a golden bell and a pomegranate a golden bell and a pomegranate upon the hem of the robe round about and it shall be upon Aaron to minister and his sound shall be heard when he goeth in unto the holy place before the Lord and when he cometh out, that he die not. In other words, the bell was important, right? And so there's all these bells. So that's all. I'm just, I'm really just showing you the bells. Because that's what they are. There are other things too. I mean, this is crazy, guys. But we can look at it this way. And I was literally, there's an, an article that came out yesterday that had all these images from ancient Egypt. And this is a lotus lamp. Okay? It looks exactly, exactly like that. But I'll stick with the bell. Because that just, I'm not going to go running off on any rabbit trails. The bells. Liberty Bell, Philadelphia, 1976. Philadelphia, fingerprint of the first light. And Aaron in the Holy of Holies. This is what I get out of this. And all this Kubrick hoopla going on. If you haven't noticed. I mean there's all kinds of Kubrick's 50th anniversary of 2001 A Space Odyssey. Which was just a crackpot mocking. Another mocking of God. And he helped fake the moonshot landing. Which was all fake. It's a fake world, folks, but this stuff here is telling us something. What it means, I'm not exactly sure, but I had to share it with you anyway. I did. Plus, I miss you. <laughs> so, there you have it, you guys. Peace and grace to y'all. The bells, the bells, and uh, Space Odyssey, something with space. Who knows with these people, but we're still in the thick of it, so you just keep on praying up and keep on looking up. And seek Jesus diligently. Peace and grace to you. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, 